What's happening fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video though, this video is entitled Your Lifestyle Can Change Your Life. Um, In a good way and a bad way. I'm going to start with this one. If you have a lifestyle of, of eating healthy, you'll notice very quickly, like, if I eat bad, I feel it immediately. You know, like, if, if you're healthy and you start getting, like, uber healthy, the minute you put something in your body that you think is normal, your body can will immediately um, look at it as a toxin. You know... Like, for, for, for all of you guys who eat, like, meat, sausage, you know, pork and whatnot, if you just, if you get away from eating that for a while, the minute you eat it, your stomach might hurt, your head might hurt. You might just, you, you won't, you might be queasy, you just won't feel, feel the same. Because your lifestyle could change your life. Like, I was clowning. Um, I was on a grill last week. I smoked some salmon, right? But I was feeling myself last week. So I'm smoking the salmon. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm chilling today. So I decided to get me some Ciroc and a cigar. I hadn't smoked cigar and a, a cigar in a very long time. And drinking, I tried to keep it at a, at a blue moon minimum thing. By the time I was smoking that cigar... And sipping, my stomach was hurt for the next two days. I mean, I was sitting there like, yo, I think I got, like, did I just, did I just get cancer or something? Like, yo, what the hell just happened? Like, you know, I can't, I can't live. I can't live. And, and you see it. And I realized, like, you know, I know I got family and friends who could drink and smoke. And they, that's what they used to. But if they try to take a job, they whole life fall out of their shoes because their whole body's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we, we about getting drunk and high, player. What are you doing? This, this, this working out thing, it's not working for us. I mean, you better, mm-mm, mm-mm, I need you to, I need you to put some gin in that Gatorade bottle to get us back right, you know, because your lifestyle can change your life. And I also mean that in this way. You don't think about it, but your hair... Your skin and your nails can tell you your your health. You know, if, if that's not good, if those things are not good on your body, it's because your lifestyle is, is, is eating away at your health. Same thing with stress. If you are a person who's always stressed out, that, 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 that stress gets to, into your, your bloodstreams, your organs. Like you age, you know, you, you, you start, you know, being lethargic or, or, or angry or, or bitter and that lifestyle of stress impacts your life to the point where you don't realize you might need to, 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 to take a mental health break or something because you're not going to be in your best, you know. And I said this before a long time ago. A long time ago, I was going through some things. And somebody told me, like, man, I could tell you've been going through it because you're starting to look old. And people don't realize when you poison your body, whether it be alcohol, uh, smoke, stress, you age very fast. And when you when you put positivity in your life, you kind of you slow the process of aging down, and you don't. You know, you don't necessarily look your age at at, at your age. Because there are a lot of people who age well. And you'd be like, how old are you? Wow. Like some of us try to, you know, try to um, beef up our, our age. Or, you know, you can't hide it. But some people look good for the age. Some people look horrible. But it's because their lifestyle, you know, the lifestyle changes your life. You know, it, it goes into the fact where if if you... 
if if you have a lifestyle of a go getter, it's gonna change. It's gonna make your life. Your life is gonna reflect that you've been going to get it. You know, I know, I know. There are people who uh, are are just go getters. They they out they're out here to get it. They want to be successful, and their life shows it. You know, their their life shows that their ambition and their drive propel them to uh, higher heights in life than you know than than average people. And then there are people who just want to chill. You know, I just want to relax. I just want to chill. I just want to just want to just kick my feet up. And that lifestyle of always chilling and kicking your feet up, it really gets you nowhere or nothing in life. You know, people chill so much that they don't have anything to show for it because they didn't uh, put anything of value in the bank of life, you know. So you see people who, who, because they want a lifestyle of leisure, and they didn't, they didn't do anything luxurious with their life. They're gonna live in poverty or like a pauper in their later years because they didn't use their prime to build something that they could relax on. They didn't, they didn't build a nest egg that they could, that they could uh, benefit off of because that that, that lifestyle changed changed their life. You know. Same thing that goes on, you know. Some people are very conservative because of that. You know, that's how people save and this, that, and the third. And when you're one of those people who want to save and do this, that, and the third, it's interesting because you're saving for a rainy day. You know, you know, I won't be able to do this forever, and I so I need to put things aside. Like people who have a lifestyle of planning ahead have a completely different life than people who have a lifestyle of just impulsive for the moment living. And you see it all over the place. You know, same thing with um some people are more sexual than others. So say you got somebody who's hypersexual, that's their life and that's their lifestyle. But they're more prone to wind up having STDs or having all of the the trappings of being hypersexual. You know, you might have more kids. You might have more drama. You might have, you know, you're going to have more sex, but you're going to have more uh, more interactions with people that you, that you don't want in your life anymore because you wanted the sex at the moment, but you can't get rid of the person. Or you might be stuck to this person whether you married them or not. And then you have people on the other side of that, that coin is like, they're a little bit less, they're, they're less sexual and, and their life shows it because they may have way too many hobbies, you know, like the other side of that coin is, you know, being a bag lady, a cat lady, you know, you got 30,000 pets, and, <laughs> but don't nobody care about you because, you know, you're really not a sexual person. So it's hard to build a connection because you don't want to have sex at some point, which it is what it is. Um, I think the most interesting one for me is when you have an adult lifestyle, having an adult mindset can change your life rather than having a childish mindset. Because I, as I get older, I see a lot of adults who embrace being adults, who embrace being grown, who, is, who embrace the responsibilities and who actually like the freedom of being an adult and not being a child because there are things that, you know, that they wish they could go back and have childhood fun moments, but they don't want to be a child anymore. They like being an adult, and their life shows it. They like, you know, doing the, the grown adult stuff that you've dreamed about as a child. You know, then you got people on the other side who, are just, who have a childish lifestyle and mindset who... They always want to revert back to being children and they're not taken seriously as adults because people view them as children. And, and you never, nobody's ever going to respect an adult who acts like a child. And they want to do all the, and while they're an adult, they want to go back and, I just want to just run in the park and blah, blah, blah. It's like, hey, 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 we got to, 
Okay, well, do the adult stuff first and then go run to the park. But I don't want to do that. Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you when it happens when the lights cut off. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, maybe somebody at the park could get your lights cut back on for you. I don't know what to tell you. Because that childish mindset is going to affect your life. Because you're going to deal with the adult consequences of life because by age you're an adult. You know, so think, you know, your lifestyle affects your life. So like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.